as you can see, it is Saturday, so this mama is on her way to work. I know, it sucks. I'm gonna try my best to keep my hand out of your line of sight because I don't want to block anything. But I just wanted to jump in here real quick. So today's video is going to be kind of like a night in my life. Um, you guys know from previous videos, I am a med tech and certified to work in, I guess you would call it an assisted living home. Um, so we're going to be going to work. It's a 12 hour shift. There's not a lot that I'm going to actually be able to film by means of the patients because that is in violation of the laws. I cannot show them on camera. I cannot show anything that, you know, remotely has anything to do with them, but I can show you my daily routine or nightly routine of how I do things at work. Um, I'll kind of show you around and unfortunately because they will be sleeping because it is night shift it's going to be a voiceover video which I've never done before so bear with me I'm gonna try to make this work I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you in the outro okay so I'm gonna be giving you an overview of what everything looks like so as you come in this is my boss's desk and we have cameras to be able to watch the patients as you walk through, we have the laundry room where we do all of their clothes after showers. And this is a restroom that we can use right here. And then you walk in to the living room slash work area slash kitchen. So that's the kitchen over there with the big island where we eat. And then we have our workstation. That's the computer that I work on that you'll see in a few minutes. All of our paperwork gets stored there. Down these hallways, there's one patient here. And then there's two patients right now that we have down this hallway. And then a big bathroom on the other side of this wall that I can't show you because there's a shower going on. So the first thing I do when I get to work is I will go into the computer and I will check to see if anyone has appointments for the following week. I will check to see if there's any notes from the outgoing nurse and just check up on all things having to do with the patients that we have here. And then when I leave the next morning, that will go to the oncoming nurse who's coming in for the day. So as you can see here, I'm starting to write down all of those appointments that we have for the patients here throughout the week. I'm writing down all of those outgoing notes from the nurse so that when I put up my initial report for the following morning, all of that will be received by the oncoming nurse and nothing gets missed. Right here, I am going through our computer system. It's called the Quick Mar, and we are able to look through this particular system and see physician's orders, if there's any new prescriptions that the patient needs to be on, what medications they need, and all of this has to be marked off by the med tech or the nurse to prove that we have given these medications and that they are taking them religiously so that all of their symptoms stay in check. So this is what I'm doing here, just marking off all of the stuff that I have to have done by a certain time. And later on, you will see me give some of those meds.
So while I am abiding by all HIPAA laws, I just wanted to show you kind of what it looks like when I click off some of those medications in the computer system. So then you will see me here taking some of these medicines and they will go into this mortar and pestle and I will have to crush them because all of our patients are G2 patients, so they cannot take anything by mouth. And we have to, of course, crush them and they have to be mixed with water to reconstitute them and then be given by G-tube. So here you can see that I have pulled out another medicine cup. I am going to be filling a prescription for one of our patients. It is a liquid. I did do this off camera because there are a lot of identifying markers on the bottle, but I just wanted to show you that not all of them have pills. Some of them are liquid. So we have both and obviously they still get given by G-Tube. So that's the first patient and that's the second patient. So at 11 o'clock every night, I have to go through each patient's basket and I have to count their medications. This is to prove that nobody has taken any medications they weren't supposed to and that on top of that, the patients are getting exactly the medications that they need no more or no less so this is just how we keep track of everything and we do it at 11 o'clock because the new day obviously starts at midnight and those new counts start over again so again no HIPAA violations you can't see anything in this video that you're not supposed to So as you can see, most of our medications that we have are in what we call a blister pack. So they're already pre-counted out. So all we have to do is count those individual blisters or bubbles, and it will tell us how many that we have left and if we need to restock for those particular medications. But there are some medications, mainly like this OTC med or over-the-counter med that we give to one of our patients that I have to physically count out. So that's why I look like a goofus counting, but yeah. This is just to make sure that all of our patients get exactly what they need. So this is what I do all night. I'm gonna be giving medications, feeding the patients, changing diapers if need be, and I will be putting together my report, giving it to the oncoming nurse that comes in in the morning, and. This is it, you guys. Boring as it is, I love my job. Good morning, good morning. It is 6.30 and as you can see, it is super cold. It is 26 degrees in Virginia this morning. So mama is freezing. Even after I started my car, it's cold. So anyways, as you guys can see, there is not a lot that I can truly show you overnight. Um, what you guys did not see was me getting up and giving showers and changing diapers and feeding them and making sure that they're good to go. But of course, you guys cannot go into the room with me. So unfortunately, all you see is me sitting at the desk and doing paperwork and all that good stuff. So. I hope you guys enjoyed. This will be a little 10 minute video that you get to kind of see what I do. So, as always, you guys, I love you. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel. And as always, keep living the crazy life. See ya!